I actually recognize you now that I see you. Oh yeah, from Cops? <laughs> Can you please send in Matthew? Oh, hello. Hi. Matthew, how are you? Oh, well, Harrison. how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Hi, Matthew. Too. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. You can call me Dee. Dee. Okay. Me nice to meet you. Dee. Hi, Terry Dubrow. Nice, nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. They look so handsome. I didn't realize they were going to be so handsome in person. So I'm a little flustered. I actually recognize you now that I see you. Oh, yeah, from Cops? <laughs> <laughs> Bad boys. Uh, no. You've been on RuPaul's Drag Race, have I have, you not? yes. Yes, you have. And actually, you're quite a prominent person. I'd like to think so. Yeah. Bought you a little something. Well, let's see what it is. You really need to open it. I did. Oh. oh. I figured um, you guys would want to see me all the time. Look so at I that. bought you a little. A that little is box so box. cool. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> How did you have that? that is this an outfit you wear? Mm hmm Like, did a whole scanning of my body in 360 degrees, and then it's 3D printed. I feel like everybody deserves to have a little detox with them all the time. But if they can't fix me, I'm taking that motherfucker back. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so obviously you're here because you've had a series of injections, yes? Yes. What possessed you to do well, I was very, I was very young. I started getting work done um, in all of my injections, my silicone injections, when I was about 18 years old, and I just never been able to get an ass before. I, I want higher cheeks. I want bigger lips. This is, seems like a very easy, inexpensive way to remedy those issues. Multiple things can happen with silicone injecting your body. It can cause deformities. It can get in your blood vessels, and this could happen five years, ten years, twenty-five years down the line. You never know. As I was getting everything else, I wanted to have abdomens. Yeah. Where they were more defined and more pronounced. So you wanted to inject a six pack. So I wanted to inject a six pack. But, but let me just interrupt you. You wanted to get feminizing injections, but you don't want to transition it all. No. I wanted to kind of find this weird medium where I'm feminine, but also masculine. Like, like I, have, I have pets. Androgyny. Like very, yeah, I wanted to be very androgynous and, and very okay. fluid with my gender. OK. And I still do. How's it affecting you negatively? Well, as a man, and as a gay man, obviously, I want to get naked all the time. <laughs> and as a drag performer, I want to get naked all the time. When you're being a man, and you're in a club, you're in a social situation, and you're right. gay, shirt comes off, right? right? Go to a white party. Right. What percent of people have their shirts off? All of them. A what, a what party? You know nothing. No, about I this. don't. I don't. I don't know anything just about. Just no plastic not, surgery. That's yeah. it. I'm a little taken aback at how well versed in the gay community Dr. Dubrow is. He knew about white party. He knew that everyone wants to take their shirts off at gay clubs. I'm like, maybe I've seen him at a gay club a time or two. But that'll just be our little secret. Can you please send in Ryan? Hi. Hi, I'm Trinity the Tuck. I absolutely love plastic surgery. I would have my big toe done. I would have my ankles done. I would have a knee reduction. You name it, I would do it right now. Somebody pay for it. It's expensive. He knows RuPaul. You were just on RuPaul's Drag Race? Yeah, we Don't, both were. Oh, you both yeah, were? Yeah. Don't you love RuPaul? I love him. So what do you do now? We travel the world. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. We're professional. Yeah. Entertainers. Entertainers. We sync. Are you walking down a runway? We do it all. There's categories, mm -hmm. you're walking. I want to have you show him how to walk down, you know. I'd love to By actually the way, see By I him. already know how to walk down a runway. Right. With a little lesson? You're, you're going to do it? Yeah. I'll do yeah. it with Just you. Just do a little lesson for you. Give me a little Here, something. you get on this side. So let's do it together. Okay. So put your hands on your hip. OK. Yeah, OK. Mm -hmm. Now. <laughs> yes! Dr. Dubrow can do better. I give it a six. Don't do the lip like that. Just do it just oh, like this. Do up. a smirk. Dance. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Pee-wee Herman. That yeah. was pretty good. That was pretty good. If you want to be fierce, it's like this, Terry. Blue steel. So what was the first body modification thing you did? I got my face done. OK. With filler? With silicone. OK, so did you go. how long ago was that? About. 12 years ago. Did you have any problems after the first? No, no. I didn't start having problems for maybe like a year or two after. OK, so what was the first problem you noticed? The silicone had migrated, and my lips kind of started to look lumpy. Have you done this? On my lips? Yes. No, no look I've at had... her cheeks, though. Have you done these injections? <laughs> no. 
Your no. cheeks are huge. Che exactly. Oh my god, my cheeks have been like the myth of life. These cheeks are super, super real, I promise. My cheekbones are so real. Like, if they were fake, I would totally tell the world. Like, totally tell the world. The truth about these things, mm -hmm. they can be very tricky. Right. I've actually taken a patient in the operating room who had a lot of this in there, mm -hmm. did a very extensive procedure, took it all out. Oh, no. It was amazing. <laughs> then it grew back. And then a year later, they came back, and it was all back. What? Yeah. If the doctors can't fix my lips, I obviously will be bummed out. I want to put something legitimate in there and make them even bigger. Fill them up! <laughs>